Howdy, 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 everybody. Um, yeah, this is first video recording I've done in a while. Um, if you're wondering why I'm using Samugi here, uh, that's mainly because she's more of a hosty type character. And also, I need to commission a VTuber, PNG tuber thing for myself as well. So she's going to be kind of in the in-between at the moment. So, yeah, a little bit of stuff here, but I've got things I can work with that boom, boom, and boom. There is one other one, but it's probably a spoilery a little bit pose for the end of Danganronpa V3. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to hold off on that one until I absolutely need it. Um, or maybe everybody could just do the thing. So I'm also trying a different thing. You'll notice the background music. Uh, I have a personal Discord that I'll put in the doobly-doo or put it up on screen, maybe in editing. And and you can go there, and there's actually a little Shiragani bot who will play background music for you in any of your chats. Well, voice chats. So it's like, it's like a little DJ. It's cool. Um, but yeah, as you notice, uh, for this particular video, I'm going to be talking about a... An article from WeHuntedTheMammoth.com, which I have not looked at in a while. Um, uh, this is one of those where my girlfriend and I would, would just just take and look at all of the stuff on here. And, and bear in mind, we agree with the with the uh, webmaster and the author uh, on all this. He's for those who don't know, it's basically him taking the piss out of all this MRA bullshit. So, <laughs> so it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Um, but yeah, uh, to give a little bit of context, just recently Andrew Tate got arrested, as, as it says here, got arrested for human trafficking. But apparently, MRAs are still mad at Greta Thunberg. Because she's a woman who doesn't submit to their every whim? Probably. Um, you might think that Andrew Tate's arrest for human trafficking would lead to little self-reflection among MRAs, many of whom have historically had a little bit of a soft spot for the guy. Uh, yeah. But a visit to the MRA subreddit reveals all the, all zero threads devoted to the arrest, but two threads devoted to the absolute injustice of Greta Thunberg, implying that Tate has small dick energy. Because we know that's the absolute worst thing you could ever say about a man, right? That he has small dick energy. Now, while that may be true for some, and yeah, some probably do have that small dick energy, you know, that Andrew Tate character definitely had small dick energy, but we also uh, can find worse things to say about, about guys than just small dick energy. Um, and apparently the two threads have more than 1,400 upvotes, inspired well over 500 comments, most critical of the climate activists. Uh, the first thread, which went up before the arrest but collected numerous comments afterward, uh, Thunberg is described as an ugly fat chick with loose pussy... What the fuck?! Bear in mind, I did not read this beforehand, so this is all just new to me anyway. But what? Ugly fat chick is like, um, I, I'm not even going to comment on that one. But loose pussy energy? Really? That's your go-to? That's your, why, why is it? Why is it that's always been the go-to? I mean, I've even been guilty of it in the past, and shamefully so. But, uh, loose pussy energy? You know what that means? You know what that means? You know, they, they're, you know, they're aiming for slut shaming, obviously, but at the same time, if you got loose pussy energy, that means you have a lot of sex and that you're having more sex than these guys. Maybe that's why. Maybe that's the way they try to shame her for because they're projecting. Because they're not getting as much sex as they want and they want to shame people for getting pleasure from something that they can't. I'm willing to bet. Uh, well, some commenters call Tate a moron who preys on vulnerable young men. Accurate! He also wins some praise in someone who, sometimes, makes incredibly good and smart statements. 14 upvotes for that last opinion. Oh, do tell. What smart statements has he made? I would actually like to know. <laughs> in the second thread posted around the time of the arrest, the assembled MRAs do their best to pretend they've never heard of the guy. I don't know her. I don't know her. I don't know her, mon cher. Yeah, we don't, we don't know him either. Uh, but evidently, the topic of small dick energy gets MRAs nearly as angry as it gets Andrew Tate, sending the subreddit regulars into a downvoting frenzy directed at anyone calling them out for the hypocrisy. Rarely see comments on Reddit voted much below zero, but in this thread, there are quite a lot of them. So much mad! And here's some examples. Uh, I understand that body shaming is wrong, but are you just going to ignore the fact that Andrew Tate was literally called out and arrested for human trafficking? 
Of course they are. Uh, apparently that got ten net down votes. Uh, that's that's plenty of that's plenty of things people could say about someone else that I would view as hypocritical. But in relation to that pile of trash, Tate, this just isn't one of them. And honestly, we are talking about a teenager versus a grown man that rapes women. I'm going to give her a hall pass on this one. Um, at the time of recording, I think Thunberg is either 19 or 20, so she may technically be a teenager in the fact that she would be 19, but if she's 20, she's definitely, you know, she is an adult at this point, regardless. Um, uh, let's see, and that, that particular hall pass one got 19 down votes. Uh, Duke gets arrested for human trafficking, and you're mad that Greta had said he had a small pee, pee I don't know why I'm giving him that voice, he's on my side. You losers are fucking cartoons. <laughs> and that could be taken either way. Are they? Are you saying that they actually fuck cartoons? Or are they actually fucking cartoons? Don't know. Don't care. I don't know. I just wanted to use that particular one. Mainly because I keep forgetting which button goes for which. And I don't, don't want to hit the spoiler button. And, and anyway. Seriously, get some perspective, you perpetual victim fetish sad sacks. I need to... I actually need to, um, uh, hold on to that one. Perpetual Victim Fetish Sad Sacks. Got it. Um, oh, this one apparently got 63 down votes. Imagine getting offended by a woman insulting a rapist. I mean, <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you're, if you're a rapist, especially an unapologetic rapist, fuck you. Just, just fuck you. Fuck you hard. You know, and yeah, I, I do, I do distinguish between unapologetic and apologetic because there, there could be a case we don't see it often because not really reported on. I'm sure that some some idiot does something like that and then realizes, oh shit, has an oh my god, what have I done moment, and there's there's room for growth and and rehabilitation. You know, he can grow from that, or she, or they. But uh, but a lot of the rapists that we see and talk about. Yeah, they're not very, really, very, uh, what was the word I just used for, uh, repentant, you know. Yeah. Even some MRAs are disgusted by their comrades' behavior. In the first thread, one writes, I legit do not know what this subreddit has become. Obviously, Andrew Tate makes this whole thing about how men should be strong and act tough. Wouldn't that involve being able to take that kind of an insult? Exactly. Also, projection is the thing. But why are people defending Andrew Tate here? He's a prime example of toxic, toxic masculinity at its worst. Don't we all want to be a posi positive role models for other men? Don't we want to lift each other up and expose societal inequality against men? Let me tell you something, buddy. It, it's not that it's not as inequal, it's not as unequal against men as you think it is. It just isn't. Ah, uh, lordy. Ah, uh, did my music stop? What the fuck? Hmm. Oh well. We'll give it a mo. Um, you know what? Yeah, this is this is all going in its own thing. Play, play more. There we go. Thank you. Uh, you can play more than two songs at once, Shiragani Bot. <laughs> okay, where was I? Um, let's see. Uh, yeah, societal inequality against men, like. What, what inequality against men? There is none. You know, it, it's not pie. You know, if anything, it's inequality against women. If you're going to go with the, if you're just going to go with the gender binary. You know, Andrew Tate doesn't do that. He caters to incels. We aren't fucking incels. We don't generalize women or treat them as objects here. Bruh, have you looked around? Of course, of course they do. Uh, and... And there's a drill tweet for there's a drill tweet for practically everything. And another thing, I'm not mad. Please don't put it in the newspaper that I got mad. <laughs> and nope, it's not in the newspaper, but it's in a blog. Uh, but yeah, that's the end of this article. I just this this whole thing, like I said, I just wanted it to be kind of a test and thing or whatever, because I do want to get back into doing this. Maybe some commentary stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, all that really good shit. Um. <laughs> Maybe do these live on streams or whatever. Um, but yeah, so uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, until next time, I'm signing off.